Hey everyone, it's Paul and I'm back with another video for you. This is about an LPP, a leftover parts Porsche, and a Craigslist find, kind of a unicorn. But it's not just an LPP, because I say it is. It's Porsche's LPP. I didn't piece this together myself with leftover parts. That's right, Porsche's done it a few times over the years and I want to talk to you a little bit about this one. In 1976, Porsche introduced the 924 as its first front engine water-cooled Porsche. It was kind of a shock to the industry. They had a lot of help from VW who was producing the engines for them. And it was a, an inline four, two liter, eight valve engine. And it was a good, well-selling, you know, entry-level Porsche for a long time. In 1986, VW decided to stop making the engine that was being put in in 924s, but Porsche still thought that there should be a market for it, and they had all the tooling set up and probably a lot of extra chassis left over. So, what they did was they said, hey, we're already making the 944, why don't we just put one of those engines in it and call it a 924S, as Porsche liked to do, you know, with their fancier, more powerful models. So that's what happened, and uh, I've got one. 1987 and 1988 were the years that they were made and um, it was basically just a detuned engine except for 88 had the higher compression from the 944 engines that they were currently making so I want to talk to you a little bit about this and what Porsche did and why I love this car and why you should love these cars too So yeah, I got this car on Craigslist with a friend about five years ago. Uh, his name's Webster. He's part of our little family Dead Pets racing team. You know, it's like just a little kind of low-key Porsche racing team that we have with my family and some close friends. And uh, yeah, we love this guy. He's been great, but time's actually come to sell him. So I'm not making this video to try to like sell you on it or anything like that. I've already got a buyer lined up, so don't, don't worry about that. And uh, hopefully we'll see some more content with this car with a new buyer, because there's some big plans for this thing. So yeah, I mean, this this car has been great. It's been kind of like rock solid this whole time. You know, it's, it's really just, it's been great for the track and on the street. You know, just 2,600 bucks gets you a lot of car. At least it did in 2013. When I bought it with a friend. Uh, yeah, so take a look, we've got it kind of Half set up for street, half set up for the track, but it's uh, it deserves to be on the track. And that's what the new owner thinks too. So if you're not aware, in NASA and Porsche Owners Club, Porsche Club of America, and I think also SCCA, run a 944 spec class, which this car is actually eligible for. And that was the plan originally for this for us. We wanted to, uh, we're gonna try to bring this car up to that spec class, which is kind of cool because, you know, it included the two 924S models because basically had the same engine. But um, in the 88, they increased the compression. So this has got all the desirable stuff. You know, I'm just, I'm gonna miss him, but I think I'll still see him. We'll be more about that later. Yeah, I mean, got him set up pretty well here. So we got the cage in there and everything else, but yeah. I mean, I guess I don't really know what to say about this car too much because I haven't really driven him much lately, but he's going to go to a good place. Yeah, 
So now we're over here at the shop, getting the car checked out with the new owner. Uh, let's go meet him. We're here at uh, Camo Racing Enterprises, getting it up. Get it up on the lift. You look pretty good on your side, John. Huh? I didn't say you look good, I said you. <laughs> Look at some of the other cool stuff they got over here. Look at this 968 coupe. Beautiful. Man, this car's great. Some other little cars over here. Nice little 944 turbo as well. That's great. Here's the, here's it's a, Webster! Yeah, here's the happy new owner right here. Yeah. About to be at least. Yes, about to be. Everything but the paint. Let it get up on the lift. Take a look. Yes, yeah, so if you don't know. Huh? If you don't know, this car's a rear transaxle, so it's kind of interesting. This is Tim Camo here, yeah. Yeah, it went over the curb at. Uh, I hope I'm Tim Camo. I'm wearing yeah. his underwear. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, that might have been from uh, when we went off at Chuck Walla. Yeah, that's you're right. Yeah, and usually you'll see trauma right back here too. See how it's ground off. Yeah, some, that sometimes a... it'll knock the whole sway bar slider clamp right off. So all of a sudden you're driving the car, oh, yeah, and then it's very different handling. This has got a little bit of trauma too. Yeah, tad bit there. Yeah, not bad. Okay. The real trauma is up there on that front sway bar. Let yeah. take a look at that. Ground down pretty bad right there. Oh my. I'm not sure if we did that or not, but it, I think we added to it when we did it. What I'm saying, what I'm saying is this, this was dragging on the ground. It had to have been to, to take that much metal off. It must have, something failed up here and it was you know, I, on the ground. You know, I seem to remember when we bought the car being told that there was a, an event, I think it was at Coronado, a wheel, oh, came, right. a wheel came off. Right. I think it was this front. When this Peter Laddier owned the car, mm -hmm. he yeah. replaced this whole corner. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That so wheel that came was, off, so I think that's what that's from. The wheel came yeah. off, that explains it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All okay. they did was hold the car so off the steering rack. Obviously, there's a set of Weltmeister bars for sale right now, I think on Pelican. So I would, I would replace that, that bar. Yeah, you think so? Yeah. I, it can't be acting the same uh, as it's supposed to. Have. You know, one third of the metal is gone, right? And it, it may fracture, actually, if I go over bumps or, or uh, gators, you know, so. I would sooner expect bend, Yeah. but, but still, it's, 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 it's not it, working as advertised. Yeah, it needs to be. Uh, so the engine in the 924s that replaced the two liter engine was a 2.5 liter, uh, still an eight valve, but you know, with with better compression, a lot of new newer features, and uh, making a lot more power. So, you know, here's what it looks like from underneath. We just got it up on the lift right now. It's um, yeah, not much to see from down here, but that's it. There's that's the engine. There's lots to see down here, huh? Lots to see. Lots to see that I. Uh, I remember not so happy seeing because you know. Yeah, I just maintenance when, stuff. I remember when the Lost to Sea was just a tangled mass of gray and black and oil stains, but now it all makes sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> much better, much more power. It needs a little bit of some seals and some stuff like that, but yeah, good condition still. So uh, I think he's going to be happy. Just a little TLC. And what are you doing? Are you saving it from Craigslist? No, this is. This is going to be Paul Senior's car. So you saved car. it. You saved it from Craigslist. I rescued it because I got an appeal about all these abused and neglected cars, and I said Webster needs to be on the racetrack. And I heard the calling from the car Jesus. <laughs> and Webster is going to be going racing again. Happy Jesus. Hey, you heard it here. Webster's going to be back on the track. Uh, we'll probably be helping. My dad do some of the maintenance and stuff, changing fluids, and uh, doing some of that maintenance. And otherwise, we got Tim over here. He's he's our 924, 944 guru. This guy is, is yeah. Everything. Talk about knows everything about it. Works hard. Nah, gets I, it done. I, I builds builds fast trophies. race cards. What I what? Those trophies at garage sales. No, no, yeah. I know this one. <laughs> yeah, that one. That was that was a long. We'll see you.
see you next time, and hopefully we'll get some good content on this car in the future. Looking forward to seeing you. Take care.